Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. a terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. When you speak of national dishes, if rice is it on the menu, then you haven't started. So what rice got to do with it? The word they say has become a global village, hence the reason countries are creating blocks for synergy, even when they are separating. Anyway, don't mind Britain that want to exit, yet they want a concession. That's a discussion for another day. Just recently, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria announced that if we close our borders for a year, we can achieve rice sufficiency. I hear you say, hmm. We are weekly inundated with reports in the news of rice, Nigerian customs, killings, and deaths. Yet, none of this trigger-happy custom officer is facing trial over summary execution of a fellow Nigerian over rice. The raid on car shops and hotels is a topic for another day. A minor Google search will reveal more to you. If you think we are losing only humans over rice, then wait for this. September 2019, CBN governor announced that the government has given out the sum of 146 billion naira as loan to rice farmers under its Anchor Boras program. Yet, not a single cover of this loan had been repaid. And our total budget for education and health this year is 132 billion naira. And you are still wondering why literacy is on the increase in Nigeria? It is because in Nigeria, rice is more important than health and education. We lose humans, money, and yet the rice is unavailable. As 50 kg of foreign rice previously sold at 13,000 naira is now being sold for up to 27,000 naira. That's 107 percent hike. Why the local variant, according to a report by BBC, has risen to 100% increase? No wonder people will go risk their lives to buy it across border at 5,000 naira to come sell it at 27,000 naira, similar to drug pushing, you would say. Of all the funds spent on rice since 1960, including Operation Feed the Nation, if you remember, we have little or nothing to show for it. Reasons are not far-fetched. Our soil is not the best for growing rice as Nigeria According to the Indes Mundi, a global data portal is not among the top 70 countries in terms of rice yield per hectare. China has a yield of 6.5 metric tons per hectare of rice. Brazil has 6.1. Vietnam has 5.41. South Korea, 5.3. A recent report by KPMG Advisory Services put Nigeria at 1.8, while other reports put it at 1.1. Then one, one wonders why the fixation on rice when we could easily be the largest producer or exporter of so many other crops. According to an article by Tosin at DOT, after Indian and China, Nigeria is the largest producer of sesame seeds in the world. Nigeria is the sixth largest producer of cashew nuts in the world. In fact, Obomosho cashew is said to be the best in the world. Nigeria is the largest producer of cassava in the world. Nigeria is the fourth largest producer of edible aroid in the world. Nigeria is just the largest producer of, not just the largest producer of yam in the world, 70% of all the yams in the world are grown in Nigeria. Nigeria is the third largest producer of millet in the world. Nigeria is the third largest producer of sugar in the world. We are the largest producer of shea butter in the world, and not to mention palm produce, cocoa, rubber, and granite. The list is endless. With our grain population and a government lack of interest in education, it's a practical impossibility to produce everything we eat. I would therefore advocate that we rather invest more in equipment, research and development in crops like the one listed above, where we have comparative advantage. And the gains therein can be used to cushion the shortfall in our rice production, rather than this unnecessary fixation on rice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it, 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 it's, um, it's a delusional fixation, because we, we're not going to get there. Thank you for the one point something hectare yield per yes. hectare yield, because mm -hmm. that's the truth. Um, we're wasting our time on rice, um, and that's why every time I hear rice, 
I'm actually very angry. Okay. Um, it's time for us to stop talking about rice. But, but, we can uh, buy rice anywhere we like. Even me, I'm going to buy the one I like wherever I see it. <laughs> Rebel. And um, what we should be doing is pushing those other things. Absolutely. And even those other things, we have to check what the world wants. Mm. We might be third largest in sorghum. Sorghum might not be wanted much. Mm. If it is not wanted much, don't place too much emphasis on it. We're fond of doing this. We're fond of talking about Nigeria and say, oh, remember the ground, not pyramids. Yes, remember I the cocoa in the West. Mm. We're just deceiving ourselves. If there's no more cocoa, cool. let's move on. Mm. <laughs> if, if, if they've killed all the trees, <laughs> and then let's move on. Um, if palm produce is not doing well anymore, and to but, turn it around. But, but, but funny enough, mm, it is. No, but those, push of those products yeah, are but doing, I you know, to ask but, but but why? Rice. If, if, it, if there is such a fixation, yeah. you know, because you make it sound like it's a conspiracy. Mm. It is why a conspiracy. is it? And, and, and I want to link to what you said. I, there I, is a demand for rice. Apart from corn, rice is the largest millet produce that correct. is demanded in the world. Mm. So yes. yes, there is. And when you talk of, um, and I'm probably stealing his thunder on this one because like, mm. we chatted about this. When you talk of research and development, you know, Bolanho gave me to understand that the reason China are where they are is not that their soil was automatically you know, so fertile. They did something to it. They mm -hmm. did, did some work on it. So the fact that we're at where we are, 1.6, whatever, doesn't mean we can't improve no, our but that's, that's that's the that's point he made, it. that yeah. if you invest in research, research. So, yeah, then you get money you build, from the other produce. Yeah. Otherwise, I like it. Then you can yeah. lift yeah. rice. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I like your problem, point. actually, but I don't in, buy the in my conspiracy opinion, theory, rice, is that rice. we have not been paying attention to research and development. Exactly. Okay. Agriculture has moved beyond my soil is this, this is how much. Otherwise, countries like Israel will not even touch agriculture mm. at all. Mm. Exactly. They don't have water. They don't have land. But they're a great agricultural um, uh, economy. Uh, that water. is because it's technology. It is today. Egypt probably has the highest yield in the world of rice. Eight point two, mm. higher than China, higher than Brazil. It is research. Mm. It, it, it is. is. It let is. me let me surprise you with cassava that we produce. Mm. We have Africa has the lowest yield in cassava across the world. Asia has a higher yield. Latin America and the Caribbean have a higher yield. They have a higher yield. So, so when even in Nigeria, it's because no. everybody at their backyard have cassava. Yeah, what you're we saying is that produce it. We we're must not even produce looking it, at the research the yield. of cassava in itself. Yes. Yeah. Mm, yes. So we're not quite there in the yield of cassava. Correct. Okay. Today, there are other systemic issues, which is cost. Our cost of producing a metric ton of cassava today in Nigeria is about three times Thailand. Mm. We're not efficient. Yeah. We're not efficient. So there are systemic issues that is not affecting just only rice. But I'm proud of our young production. Okay, I want to come in here though. Like for instance, you know, we mentioned whether producer third this, first mm, this, it's whatever. Right? It's just the same problem we have with our oil, our crude. If you can't refine your product and package it in a way that others that you can That's export it. it. Yeah. For instance, we try to export yam to the UK. They returned, well, they returned it, they rejected it, it but they accepted, Ghana, they accepted Ghana yam. So we need to understand that it's not being, the producing is not even really where the so money is at. Yeah. It is when refining it and making it um, pa yeah, for, for ready Adding for value. exporting. That's yeah. how you add value to it. So that, we're just wasting time being the third this, third that, yeah. third. If at the end of the day we cannot package That's, it in such the, a way that people are going to want it. I want to quickly it. take a little from Ekene and then from Ebolaho. When you close your borders and you say you want to be like China. Are you doing what China did? Exactly. No. That's Imagine, no, they said you just China closed their borders day. for 40 years. Every day you hear, <laughs> you hear people are killing or people are dying because they smuggled rice. You make it expensive so people naturally will gravitate. Mm. Mm. China did not close their border and allow their presidents to go to America or and London for, for, for medical treatment. <laughs> they didn't close their borders and still allow generators to come in. Mm. So they also reduced cost of production yeah. and then cost of importing through their sea, sea ports. Are we doing all of that? No, we're not. All of that? Mm. And so we think, and then are we researching on a yield per, per, per uh, hectare? No. no, we're not doing all of that. You give farmers money, some even married more <laughs> wives. And, and, and so, yes. when you are fixated on this rice, and then there are some other crops that you don't even research on naturally. Like these are, Acha, these are crops. I heard about Acha, Acha yeah. you yes. know, the other day. Yeah. Apparently, it's so highly nutritious and it's even better and it makes a mean job. Okay. <laughs> it's like a kind of grain. I didn't so, even know about it. Now, yeah. if we would research, apparently, it's grown in Kaduna or somewhere like that. Right. Kaduna, yes. uh, uh, so, really, yeah, somebody... these are the things. We have it. Why don't we research it as and, and so to that take from Golaho. When you talk about um, the rice yield and then research and 
you know, um, that the fact that we are not, um, we need to look inward. If you can look inward and then processes, Cote d'Ivoire makes about $2.3 billion from sale of cocoa. But Switzerland, that refines co cocoa mm -hmm. to, to chocolate, cocoa. makes about seven point something Correct. billion yeah. dollars from the same the cocoa same that product. they get from, from Switzerland. Right. So farming, if you like, diversify into farming. But without a commensurate diversification In into refined, education, yeah. you are going to remain the poverty capital Correct. of the no, world. Thank you for that. That was a very useful yeah. idea. Well, well, time to take a break from our rice discussion <laughs> to hear from you on other matters. Concerning Operation Positive ID, Princess says, why is it only during election that they rely on re-catchment of people? It can also be used for loan for everyone as it is done abroad. I agree with you. Also concerning Operation Positive ID, mm. West Kess says, Operation, your identification is a nice idea in your country, hashtag Nigeria. Since Nigerian immigration has failed us, if possible, I'm in support of that. Let the Nigerian army carry on the movement of hashtag operation, hashtag identification. It's easy to say no, since you are over there. there. Yes. <laughs> it is. On a previous advocacy title, For Whom the Bell Tolls, Decadence in Education, but them at the says, China doesn't care how bad your English is. They teach vocation and they are winning. Who cares if you study in English? The colonial masters will ask you to write I E L. Yes, anyway. Uh, anyway, the colonial master will ask you. Yes, 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 I agree. Keep your comment coming in on our social media platform on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram, at plus TV Africa, hashtag the Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels, plus TV Africa. After the break, Ekene raises her hope when she exclaimed, Part of the people. I can't wait to hear. <laughs> 